Hey you guys, today I'm going to show you how to do this Creeper Anatomy Little Polymer Clay Charm. So half of it is in its skeleton form and the other half is in its regular form. Shout out to Otaku for Life for requesting this video. Hey Laura, if you're watching, I hope you enjoy how it turned out. And let's go ahead and start. Start with a small ball polymer clay and this is going to be half of the head of the Creeper. For all of my little square shapes or rectangle shapes, I will squish it in between my fingers and then kind of squish it on the opposite ends. You can also use a flat surface by pressing it down on each side. Then grab another bead of polymer clay and this is going to be a long rectangle. Make sure this one's also flat. To help these two blocks stick together well, I will use this big eye pin and some of this TLS. I will put a little bit of the TLS on the eye pin, then I will stick it in the middle of the head, press it all the way through, and then grab the body and then press it down. Make two little rectangles and place it at the bottom and press them down so that they stick. Now let's do the inside of the creeper. I finished all of my white polymer clay, so instead of using white polymer clay, I will use glow-in-the-dark polymer clay, but you can use white polymer clay if you have it. Make a little block that will only cover one-fourth of the head, and place it at the corner. Make sure you have enough space for the other stuff. Then make another small block and place it across from the first block. And don't worry about any layer fingerprints, we're going to get rid of that after we bake the polymer clay. Make a little chubby tube of polymer clay and flatten it a little bit. And on its side, connect it to the bottom of this back square and then press it down so it sticks. Make a little pink block of polymer clay. And this is going to be the brain and we're going to place it at the back of the head. Press it down and flatten it so it stays square. With the small daughter, make an indent of a square. If you have something square, use that instead, but I don't have anything that's square shaped, so that's why I'm using this round daughter. Roll out a little tube of polymer clay and press it down. This is going to be part of the spine. And you want to leave a little space for the TNT block. Grab a flat tool. I'm going to use a cuticle pusher and make little indents for the spine. Make a little chubby square and place it at the bottom. This is going to be the TNT block and then flatten it down. Then make two little chubby rectangles and place them on top of the feet. Grab your flat tool and make two indents on the skeleton part of the creeper. And now our creeper is ready to be baked. And I'm actually going to bake it on its side so that it's a little bit easier to put in the toaster oven. Once it's baked and has cooled down, put some nail polish remover on a cotton pad and wipe it on the surface to remove any of the lint or the fingerprints. Make a square for the eyes. If your paint is not opaque enough, just let it dry in between coats and add another coat. Then do the mouth. I'm doing a line down. You may want to look at a creeper while you do this. Try your best to make two squares at the bottom of the feet. Grab some dark pink and make some random squares on the brain. And do it on all the sides. With some dark red acrylic paint, make some lines down the TNT block. And then I will outline the top of the TNT. And do it on the other two sides. With some gray acrylic paint, try your best to make little boxes at the top of the TNT. And fit as many as you can on the top. With some white acrylic paint, make a line in the middle of the TNT block. And this white paint is very transparent, so I'm just going to let it dry in between coats until I have a solid color. And finish your TNT block by writing TNT. Try your best to fit all the words in there. Let the acrylic paint completely dry. To glaze my creeper, I will use this gloss glaze and this small brush. Paint a thin coat and do it all over your creeper. The bones on my creeper are yellow because I did use the glow in the dark clay. 
Let me just energize the clay and look how it looks. Looks pretty cool, huh? This was just by mistake because I I just ran out of the white polymer clay, but I wanted to show you guys how it looked. I thought it was pretty neat. You could only see half of the creeper. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys tried out, I wish you the best. Have fun creating and making all these little blocks, and I hope you have a good one. Bye!